do that quick. Um, okay, it looks like we're recording. Um, so thank you guys for jumping on here and joining me and especially investing in your own health because uh, the thyroid really controls a lot of systems in our body and when we learn how to take care of our thyroid, uh, it really makes a big difference in our health. So just to start off, I want to let you know a little bit about what my goal is tonight. And uh, my goal tonight is to give you a lot of um, things to look into. So whether or not you know you have a struggling thyroid, or maybe you may be on tonight just wanting to learn more, and something I say about another health issue makes you realize that you've never the doctors have never checked your thyroid. And so my goal tonight is to give you some ideas, some roots of health issues, uh, because whenever we're dealing with health, uh, we don't wanna put a Band-Aid on it, we wanna get down to the root, the root cause. So that's my goal. This class is generally, uh, in the past I've done it live, and it's been more, uh, we've tried to keep it really interactive, uh, kind of a brainstorming, type session. So I'm going to ask at certain points during this class, uh, if, if my chat works anyway. Um, Jen, is it not recording? I think it is recording. It says it's recording. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, I don't see the usual light, but uh, it says there's a button to stop recording. So I think we're recording here. Um, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, I lost my place. Anyway, so during the parts that are interactive, I'm gonna ask if you please, uh, if I ask for an idea, um, type your ideas in, and then at the end when uh, people wanna go back and take notes and look at the comments, uh, they have it all there in the chat section. So as long as uh, our chat box is working okay, uh, that's kind of the method that we'll use. So, we're going to start. I'm going to share my screen so that you can see my PowerPoint. And we will get started with the video. And just a second here. All right. Okay, I just realized something. Um, I actually cannot see the comment section when I'm in the screen, so I may have to have it not interactive and just teach it. I just realized that uh, my whole screen is covered by the PowerPoint. So, uh, but if you have ideas as we're going through, please put them in the comments. Everyone else can see them, and when I shut down my PowerPoint, I'll be able to see them as well. So uh, we're just going to start by talking about what the thyroid is, what does it do, uh, so the thyroid, it's a butterfly-shaped gland in the neck. Uh, it consists of two lobes. Um, I don't know if you can see my little cursor here, but you have the two lobes. And then in the middle, that's the isthmus, and it connects them. Interestingly enough, uh, not everyone has an isthmus. Some people just have two lobes, and that's okay. And some people are actually born without a thyroid. And um, yes, you can survive without a thyroid. And if you're here tonight and you've had your thyroid removed, or maybe you were, you know, you were born without a thyroid, hang in there. Um, listen to this information. It's going to be really important for you. Take notes, just as if you had a thyroid. And we'll talk about at the end what to do with that. So, what um, what does the thyroid do? It converts iodine to thyroid hormones. And most of the iodine comes from the food we eat. Um, interestingly, if you have the right amount of iodine, um, it helps your thyroid. But if you have too much, uh, it will actually harm your thyroid. So there's a, you know, just a middle ground. We won't, don't want to over, overdo it on our iodine supplements or anything like that. But getting a good multivitamin um, or a good supplement that has iodine in it can be very supportive to your thyroid. Um, so the thyroid is part of the endocrine system, which stores and releases hormones that are vital for regulating other body systems. So some of the body systems that, that it controls are the heart, 
So your cardiovascular system, your nervous system, your reproductive system, I skipped one, your digestive system, and your adrenal glands. So I really want you to think today of getting back to, back to the root of issues. So if you're trying to support your cardiovascular system, it's important to also support your thyroid. If you're trying to support your digestive system, it's important to also address your thyroid. So these are just, um, so looking at this slide here, this gives us some pictures, some ideas of what those systems do and what it might look like if you had a sluggish thyroid. So I'm, I'm not necessarily saying that there's uh, anything wrong with your thyroid, but maybe your thyroid is uh, just struggling. Maybe it's just a little sluggish. And uh, so some of the things that you would notice there at the beginning, you may have a high or a low blood pressure. And um, I know this is something that I struggled with uh, from the time I was 19. I struggled with it for 11 years. I don't remember anyone ever looking at my thyroid. I could be wrong, maybe they did, um, but nobody ever asked me about my thyroid. So uh, that's something, if you're struggling with blood pressure and they can't figure out why, make sure they look at your thyroid. It also affects your heart rate. So if you have a really fast heart rate, a slow heart rate, maybe your heart rate is irregular, that could be because your thyroid is not, not functioning right and not, not telling your heart exactly how to perform. Uh, it, it affects your nervous system. And so some of the signs of this would be anxiety, nervousness, uh, those moments when we have brain fog, if it's like a, you have brain fog daily, you feel like it's, why do I always have brain fog? Uh, it could be your thyroid. Uh, frequent headaches uh, are often a side effect of a struggling thyroid and um, insomnia. I think very rarely have I heard people look into the thyroid when they're dealing with insomnia. And really that's a pretty key component of good sleep. Uh, then we have the reproductive system. I'm kind of going out of order of the pictures. Um, but maybe you're having your regular menstrual cycles. Maybe they're very heavy. Maybe they're very, very light or irregular. That can be due to your thyroid. Uh, miscarriages sometimes are linked to um, struggling thyroids. So we have uh, the picture of the guy hunched over here, your digestive system. Uh, your weight. So if you have, um, you're suddenly having trouble putting on weight or you're suddenly putting on a lot of weight and you don't know why, it could be your thyroid. Uh, thyroid can cause diarrhea. It can cause constipation. Uh, it can cause uh, bloating. Um, so if you just have that bloating feeling, it could be rooted in something other than just your intestines. Uh, heartburn and food sensitivities. So a lot of our gluten sensitivities, our wheat sensitivities, I believe a lot of those are due to changes in food and modifications to food. But also uh, some of our food sensitivities can be due to a struggling thyroid. So we have our adrenal glands and the adrenal glands really uh, if they're not functioning properly, you're gonna feel very fatigued and very tired. Just have a really low energy level. And uh, that could start at the thyroid, but that could, or that could start at the adrenals, but that could also start back further with the thyroid. Cracks in your heels. This is uh, summertime and a lot of times people want beautiful feet in the summer and I know I like to have mine soft in the summer and one of the signs of a struggling thyroid is dry cracked heels uh, so we really want to support our thyroid if you want to have beautiful feet I actually just did a video on this today I'll kind of give a little side note uh, some tips for beautiful feet in the summer number one support your thyroid number two uh, animal sense ointment on your feet every night before you go to bed and number three minxia red and uh, we'll actually talk about that later 
So some of the common symptoms that you guys already probably know are a hoarse voice, an enlarged uh, neck, stiff tongue, uh, stiff joints and muscles, jagged and rough um, cuticles, and so vertical lines on your finger. So if you look at your fingernails, if you have any vertical lines, that can indicate a hypothyroid, uh, which is often due to a selenium deficiency. And if your nails split a lot, that can also be due to hypothyroid. So making sure that we're getting a good multivitamin with selenium to, uh, to make sure we have enough of that in our body. So we always, always, always want to start, start at the root. I know many of you have heard my story. I was sick for many years and, uh, you know, lots of different treatments were done, were used, and I wasn't, wasn't getting the results that I wanted. And one of the things that I discovered was uh, that I wasn't getting to the root. I was putting a Band-Aid on it. And for me, toxins were the root because toxins can damage every single part of your body and if you have a burn uh, you can treat it with whatever you want but if you don't take your hand off the stove you're never going to get well and the same is true for uh, for toxins so if you can treat your body with whatever you want but if you don't quit putting toxins into your body you're probably not going to get the results that you're looking for so uh, we want to start at the root. Now it's interesting, you know, we took, for, for instance, high blood pressure, we took you back to the thyroid, but we really need to go back even further because the thyroid is told what to do by a couple of glands. So you see the hypothalamus, which is right here. Hopefully you can see my little pointer. The hypothalamus is the part of the brain that releases thyroid stimulating or thyroid releasing hormone and what that does is that tells your pituitary gland uh, over here to stimulate the thyroid gland with thyroid stimulating hormone and when that happens then your thyroid will tell your other organs what to do so if you know you have a thyroid dysfunction or a struggling thyroid and let's just say, for instance, the doctor wanted to take out that thyroid, absolutely make sure that before they take that thyroid out, that you have them test your hypothalamus and your pituitary glands. Uh, because you'd never want to take out an organ that really is healthy, it is functioning right, it's just not being told what to do. So in some cases, it's a healthy thyroid, but it was never told what to do by the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. So um, a couple of, couple of things that can damage your hypothalamus and your pituitary gland, uh, malnutrition, so eating disorders, a history of eating disorders. Uh, I actually think, um, I think empty water, I know empty water damages your uh, pituitary and hypothalamus. I really believe that this happened to me. Whenever I do Zyto scans, the pituitary gland pops up very often, and I drank nothing but reverse osmosis water for many, many years. Reverse osmosis water, it's great. It doesn't have the toxins, but if you don't add minerals back in, that is an empty water, and that can cause damage to your pituitary gland. So really thinking about drinking water that it has been filtered uh, to remove the toxins, but filtered in a way that it still has minerals in it is important. And uh, other ways uh, that can damage genetic disorders, radiation, some certain surgeries, head trauma, uh, tumors, all of these things can damage your hypothalamus and your pituitary gland. So we're, we're just going to, uh, I want you to think about you, or maybe it's a loved one that you're thinking about that has issues um, in any of the or areas that we've talked about tonight that you wanna support. And I'm gonna name some symptoms of pituitary damage, 
and some symptoms of hypothalamus damage. Because if you can identify the different, the different symptoms, it makes it easier to figure out what the root is. Is it the pituitary gland or is it the hypothalamus? Uh, maybe it's just the thyroid. So uh, symptoms of, we'll start with hypothalamus actually. Symptoms of, of hypothalamus damage, headache, constipation, fatigue, dizziness, weight fluctuations, feeling cold all the time, and anemia. I'll repeat that one more time for if you're taking notes. So the hypothalamus, headache, constipation, fatigue, dizziness, weight fluctuations, and the feeling of being cold. Uh, and anemia also. And then uh, symptoms of pituitary damage would be nausea, weakness, weight fluctuations again, loss of body hair, feeling cold, extreme fatigue, sudden changes in your menstrual, menstrual cycle, erectile dysfunction. Um, in men, they often start to develop breasts and a de decrease in sex drive. So that's just some ideas if you're experiencing any of those of where you can look for to get to the root. So testing for these things, if you are suspecting that maybe there's hypothalamus or pituitary struggles, uh, some testing you can do, you can ask your doctor to run basic tests. I will actually put in our event page, I will put uh, a PDF of uh, numbers where you, you can look at your results and you know where your numbers are supposed to be and you also can talk to your doctor to make sure they test all of these areas. This was, I can't, we got it from a doctor. I believe it may have been Dr. Purser, but I can't remember for sure. But I will get that posted on the event page and you can print that off and have that for future use so that when you go to the doctor, you can have it right with you. But uh, basically what they do is they do blood tests. And the big things you want them to look at is your cortisol, uh, your thyroid, obviously, prolactin, estrogen, testosterone, and your growth hormone. So when we look at all that, we can get to the root of whatever is causing our health challenges, whether it's in the thyroid or maybe it's in a totally separate part of the body. So these are things that are zapping the thyroid. And normally when I do this, we uh, brainstorm and I have everybody think of different things, different ideas. Unfortunately tonight, because I cannot see the uh, chat box, I won't be able to do that if I want to keep the PowerPoint up. So I'm just going to you know, list off some that I think of as I go. And if you have any thyroid zappers, I don't know if somebody that is on right now, if you just want to type thyroid zappers into uh, the comment box and people below it can uh, write things as we're in each topic that they can think of. But the first one here, this little, little raindrop guy, is stop dehydration. Uh, I'm guilty of this one. This one is a, a struggle for me, but it's really important that we, that we stay hydrated. Hydration will help us get rid of our toxins. It will nour you know, nourish our cells, help them to flow freely. And so dehydration can be a huge, huge thyroid zapper. So if you're wondering how much water to drink, Drink about half of your body weight in ounces every day. So let's just say you're a 140 pound woman, then you need 70 ounces of water. So that's kind of how, how, we, how we figure that out. Make sure that it is purified water. We talked about that already a little bit, but chlorine is a huge thyroid zapper, whether you are drinking it or showering in it. They have actually done studies and they've determined that showering in a hot shower for 15 minutes is actually worse than drinking an eight ounce glass of contaminated water. And the reason for this is because when we're in there, 
we're breathing in the steam and the heat opens up our pores. And so we breathe in the whatever's in the water in the steam and it's also being absorbed into our skin. So uh, make sure that your water is clean that you're showering in. If you swim a lot, if possible, have a, I know this isn't always possible, but like a salt water um, versus chlorine to keep it clean. So second picture here is stress. And stress is a huge thyroid zapper. And so I just want to talk to you about some of the things that you can do to lower your stress. And if you have ideas, somebody wants to write stress in there and uh, an idea of things that have worked for you to lower your stress, put those in there, please. Uh, some of the things that I have is exercise. Exercise can be a huge, just a huge uh, blessing when it comes to lowering your stress, getting your body moving, and um, even just having some time, have, having some time away where you're having it to yourself. Yoga is, is one. And, uh, you know, for obviously I am a Christian and I know there's, um, when I do yoga, I do the, the motions of yoga and I focus on scripture. And so, um, so yoga is another great way to work on lowering your stress, breathing techniques. And if you add to those some oils, so some of my favorite oils for lowering your stress, and if you guys have favorites, put them in the comment box. I love frankincense. I love stress away. Valor. Those three oils are all in your starter kit. So if you don't have a starter kit yet, um, frankincense, stress away, and valor are all in the starter kit. And those oils you can do so much with, but those are really great oils for lowering your stress. You can also do the aroma freedom technique. I'm not going to get into that a lot right now, but if you Google Dr. Benjamin Perkis, P-E-R-K-U-S, and the aroma freedom technique, you'll find some great resources on how to you know, lower your stress, block limiting belief patterns and things and using oils. So that's pretty powerful. Getting enough sleep. It lowers your stress, but it also is really good for your thyroid. Finding a hobby you love and making time for it and prayer. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 7, cast your cares upon him for he cares for you. And so Focusing on that instead of focusing on everything in your life that stresses you out or brings negativity, um, it's really hard to, uh, to get negative when you're focusing on God's goodness. So pain is our next picture here. And pain can really zap your thyroid. So write down in the comments box what things do you love for um, dealing with muscles and joints so first of all young living has uh, a pain cream it's called cool azul pain cream it's amazing uh, if you type in cool azul pain cream video in google they will explain to you how it works but it's pretty amazing it works fantastic and it doesn't have any thyroid zapping chemicals in it either. This is a healthy, healthy pain painkiller. So it's fabulous. It's a cream, and you just rub it on. A couple other things that I love is um, sulfurzyme is a a supplement that's really great for your muscles and your joints. And so uh, I love to use oils for muscles and joints. I'm not not saying, and I can't say that it helps with pain, but I can say that it's supportive. To muscles and joints. So your sulfurzyme, your pan away, which is in your starter kit, uh, relieve it, aromases, a lot of these oils are great. And then we have up here, smoking uh, can be a big thyroid zapper. And I know a lot of 
people that smoke, it's, it's not, it's not easy to just stop smoking. Um, even, even when you want to, even when you want to help your thyroid, a lot of people have addictions. And, um, so using something like black pepper to black pepper essential oil to, to support your body, to support your emotions, um, can really help going through that transition of from smoking to non-smoking. So uh, support your body with, with black pepper do, during that period, and that might help you a lot. Then we have down here, we have nutritional deficiencies can zap your thyroid. So vitamin A, uh, if you are deficient in vitamin A, it's really hard on your thyroid. And so eating things like nuts and seeds um, is a great place to get your vitamin A. Um, we talked about selenium and copper uh, are two other ones that are important. Vitamin D, magnesium, iodine, and vitamin B. So Young Living has uh, our master formula which is a full spectrum premium multi-nutrient supplement that provides vitamins, minerals. It's all food based. So, you know, you can run to the regular grocery store to buy your supplements, but if they're not food food based, if your body doesn't recognize it as food and it recognizes it as chemicals, you're not going to get as much out of it and also your body uh, most likely it is made if it's synthetic it's made with chemicals and uh, things that are not good for your body so your body has to use some of the nutrients it takes in to actually get rid of those chemicals so using a, a supplement that is food based that your body recognizes as food uh, you can take a smaller uh, like the numbers if you look at the back of the bottle and it says how much of everything it is you can take a supplement that has smaller numbers if it actually is utilized better by the body. And so, um, and Master Formula doesn't have smaller numbers, it's got great numbers, but uh, it's recognized as a food and your body is able to use it. So, highly recommend that. Super B, to help get your B vitamins up, Super B is one of those supplements that uh, we got it, my husband and I got it free maybe like three years ago. And, um, and we both started taking it and B vitamins are known as mood vitamins and, um, stress vitamins and both of us and energy vitamins as well. Both of us noticed a boost in our energy and, uh, I just had more steady emotions and that was really good. And so at the end of the month, my husband and I said, we're never going without uh, these again. So you have your toxins. Um, we already talked about taking your hand off the stove. Uh, some viruses, uh, ailments can challenge your thyroid. Uh, so I always think about in terms of this, how can I boost, boost my immune system to support my immune system as I go through um, these health challenges. And so some of the ways that I boost my immune system and that I'd highly recommend for you. And if you guys have any, write them in the chat box. I think of obviously your vitamins that we've already talked about, but Ningxia Red, which is a whole food liquid supplement, great for your body. Uh, it's safe for diabetics, it's actually good for them. Um, helps with your eyesight, it helps with every single system in your body, and um, it's safe for even little tiny infants. So. Uh, I do Ningxia Red. I do oils, power those powerhouse oils like uh, your frankincense, your thieves, which is also in the starter kit, uh, oregano, inner defense, in you power, um, all those things to keep your immune system strong. Uh, this one is artificial sweeteners. And so I don't really like our artificial sweeteners, and I don't really like sugar either uh, because of how it's processed. Sugar itself isn't really that bad, but because of the processing of it, 
um, can cause a lot of challenges. So some healthy alternatives, we use, uh, we sweeten some things with bananas, honey, maple syrup, those things that are naturally found that, um, that are not processed afterwards, uh, those, are, those are better for our thyroid. And then um, medications, talk to your doctor if you, if you have, are suddenly having thyroid issues and you're on medications for other things. Talk to your pharmacist, talk to your doctor about that because uh, it could be your medicine that's, that's causing the thyroid challenge. And then um, microbiome imbalance. So uh, that's basically things in your gut. We have good bacteria in our gut and we have bad bacteria in our gut. And the good guys are kind of like Pac-Man. They eat up those bad guys. And... Um, and if that balance get off, gets off and there's more bad guys, then we start having issues. So um, we're going to go to the next slide here. I'll give you a couple minutes to write this down. Maybe you want to screenshot this. So these are, um, this is my power tool for, I'm going to say smooth feet and beyond. So. Uh, when we're talking about uh, if you want smooth feet, you don't have smooth feet, I recommend um, this power tool oil and it does many other things as well. So you're gonna take a 50 milliliter roller ball with 25 drops lemongrass, 25 drops myrrh, 10 drops frankincense, 10 drops clove, five drops peppermint, and then you're gonna fill the rest with a carrier oil and what's, what that means is um, carrier oils are fatty oils like olive oil or Young Living's V6. Um, you'll fill the rest with that. And you'll apply that right directly over top of your thyroid in the morning and in the evening before you go to bed. And then also Endoflex, which is phenomenal for um, our glands and our hormones. Um, Endoflex, actually, yeah, anyway, apply two drops morning and night over the thyroid. So, supplements to support we have your thyramin, your powergize, your endogize, your sulfurzyme, and your cortistop. So the thyramin was specially developed. It was actually developed with the intention of it helping your thyroid, to nourish your thyroid, to feed your thyroid with nutrients, with herbs, amino acids, minerals, essential oils, the good kind, <laughs> not the fragrances, but the good essential oils that are powerhouses for your body. Um, these are safe for both women and men. And um, if you're wondering how much to take, uh, for those over 19, about one to two capsules daily before you go to bed. Uh, I do want to emphasize we're covering a lot of stuff tonight, and you don't have to do all of these. So really think about um, the needs of your body and which of these products, which of these oils really resonate with you and your needs. So. Powergize was actually um, formulated for men, but women can use it also, and they can get benefits from it also. Uh, it's good for your energy. It's good for your muscles. It increases strength, physical performance, uh, and supports your thyroid gland and beyond. So uh, two capsules a day is what most people take. This is a great one to take uh, for men in particularly that are 40 and up at that age you start to lose your muscle tone uh, faster and um, power dries is a way just to to keep to keep to keep that strength so then we have endogize and endogize was formulated for it was actually formulated for women but men can enjoy it as well um, this one is you would take up to four weeks and then you would take a break from it. Um, but 
I actually misspoke. This was originally formulated for men, um, as women already had cortistock, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but then, as they started using it, they realized that the women could really benefit from it, and it became a supplement that's primarily for women, but men still use it. So um, that's kind of a kind of interesting one as well. So we have sulfurzyme. You guys, this is one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite products that Young Living has. Um, the powder form, uh, in my opinion, is by far the best. Um, it made the world of difference uh, in my muscles, joints, ligaments. It made the world of difference for my husband um, during spring and fall, going outside and having clear respiratory, a respiratory system. Um, sulfurzyme has been great for that. Uh, my mom, who's um, obviously older than me, uh, said that sulfurzyme has really helped her not to be stiff anymore um, in her joints. So uh, this is kind of funny. I forgot to forgot to tell you this, but I'm gonna go back to Endogize for a second. Um, this is something funny that Gary said about Endogize. He said, "Women going through their uh, it's great for women going through normal stages, normal changes in life. So that." that period, you know, between 40 and 55, uh, teenage girls, women who find that time of the month stressful, and men who want to act like a stallion. So I'll let you uh, take out of that what you want to take out of that. But, and then uh, cortisol, when we are um, under a lot of stress, our body produces cortisol, and too much cortisol can have a negative effect on our body. Um, leading to fatigue, difficulty with weight management, um, your challenges in your cardiovascular system. And so Cortistop is a great one to use um, during those stressful periods in your life. So you don't have a thyroid. The key to that is to support your body. Uh, you're going to do all those things. All those things that we talked about, you can do those just as if you had a thyroid because your thyroid works in conjunction with the rest of your body. And so even though you don't have a thyroid, your other organs, your other glands, your other everything else that um, works together with that thyroid will benefit from the things that we talked about before. But when I went on my health journey, I really discovered some keys that apply to everyone in keeping health. We want to eliminate toxins. That means getting toxins out of your food. That means getting toxins off your body, personal care products, your makeup, your toothpaste. Nourish your body with our supplements. Rest, drink plenty of water, uh, exercise and move your body and make sure you're managing your stress, which we already talked about. So um, if you're not in Young Living and you want to be, because um, you're, because you're, you want to make a change in your body, it is the best investment. The, the $160 kit um, is the best investment that my husband and I have ever made into ourselves. There's a few different ways to do it. Uh, maybe there was just one product we talked about tonight. Uh, maybe the uh, sulfurzyme really spoke to you. Then become a retail customer. Uh, pay retail price. Orders are shipped to your door. Order when you need it. No startup fee and support for your questions. Uh, there's a better way uh, is to become a member. This is how about 99% uh, of Young Living uh, people, at least on my team, they become a member because it's a 24% discount. Orders are shipped to your door. You can order whenever you need it. Uh, when I say cost-effective starter kits, we're talking over $300 uh, worth of amazing products that hands down will change your life for only $160. So uh, today, I would pay if I had to, if I had no oils, $1,000 for that kit because that kit changed my life. And um, so the fact that you can get it for $160 kind of blows my mind because it's pretty amazing. Um, you have the business opportunity. You don't have to do it. Uh, you're eligible for essential rewards and there's no, no annual fee. 
So you can get started with any of these premium starter kits. Maybe you uh, want to start with the oils. Uh, that's really the kit that I, um, if I could only pick one kit, that's where I would start is the, the oil kit. Uh, maybe you decided you need to take your hand off the stove and start treating your body the way it deserves to be treated. And you want to get rid of uh, toxins in your makeup. We have a Savvy Minerals Makeup Starter Kit. Uh, maybe you, again, are realizing you need to get toxins out of your life. And a big place that you're exposed to toxins are your cleaning products, your personal care products, like your soap and your toothpaste. We have a Thieve Starter Kit. And um, when you want to feed your body and nourish your body and treat it, uh, the results you'll get in energy and um, blood test results, everything with Ningxia Red just kind of blows my mind. Um, so there's the Ningxia Red kit. Some people start with one and some people say, you know what, my body's worth it. I am going to feed it. I am going to get the toxins away and I am going to have the icing on the cake of the oils. So I'll have an oil for everything I really need to address and they buy all of them. So um, those are really your options. Your best is to get on Essential Rewards because you can get up to 25% back every single month in free products. So I'm uh, not going to go into details on that, but that's essential rewards. So the ultimate is to share. You see, there was a time, um, I'm actually going to jump back so you can see me because I, I don't think you can see me right now. Um, I wish you could see both me and the PowerPoint, but I don't know how to do that. So I'm going to stop the share and I'm going to, um, finish where you can see me. Awesome. So there was a time in my life when um, I was totally against sharing. I was not a salesperson and, and I still am not, I, I still feel like I have never sold a kit. Um, I have a huge team and I've shared and they purchase kits, but um, I was not going to do that. But what happened for me is I used these products and they changed my life and I couldn't not share them. So for five and a half years, uh, we taught classes without ever telling people um, how, to, how to purchase the oils unless they came and asked. And um, about six years ago, I had somebody, Skyla Mann, came up to me and just said, Bob, you're doing you're doing a great job teaching these classes, but do you realize that there's people that want these products that can't, uh, that think they can't afford them? Um, there are marriages struggling because of lack of finances, people praying for answers, and you have an answer and you're not sharing it. And it was at that moment that I realized people share their health issues, but they don't always share their financial issues. And I could help people in twice as many ways if I shared both the product side and the business side. So um, that is the ultimate way to get started is to purchase your kit and to share with others and be a difference maker in the lives of the people around you. So um, that is what I have tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining. Um, got a lot of people on here. I'm going to run through the comments quick. And if you have any questions, you can add them to the bottom here. Actually, I'm going to stop the recording. We'll end the meeting right now. Oh, nope. I'm going to stop the recording.